Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to be explaining the basics of bow making at home utilizing some leftover wrapping paper and some few basic supplies that you may have already have at home. You can go ahead and be creative and create your own bows utilizing the wrapping paper. Now, a lot of times when people do end up creating bows at home, one of the big reasons why is because unfortunately they've either ran out of bows or they don't have a means to go ahead and get to the store before the gift has to be given. So this is one creative way in order to make some bows. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a small bow. You can also make bigger bows though too. And some of the basic tools that I am going to utilize are going to be this tape dispenser, this wrapping paper, a ruler, a stapler, a pair of scissors, and I'll tell you about some of the other things I utilize too. But for starters, in order to make a small bow like seen here, I am going to go ahead and measure out with my wrapping paper approximately four inches. So approximately four inches wide. And then approximately, I'm going to go seven inches high. And I am going to cut out that portion of the wrapping paper. So after I measure up seven inches, I'm going to go across. And I'm going to go up. So right now I have a piece of wrapping paper that is about seven inches high and four inches wide. And with this wrapping paper bow, I am going to go ahead and cut out approximately one inch wide pieces. And it doesn't have to be exact unless you want to be, you know, perfect about things. But, you know, it has to be about. So now I have four approximately one inch by seven inch high pieces of wrapping paper cut out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a point for every one of my ends of my paper. And the tighter the better, but if you do do it loose, that's okay. And I'm gonna take a piece of my tape and I'm gonna tape the other side to hold it secure in place. Okay, and I'm gonna do that for every single end. Take a piece of tape wow. and fold it. So my first piece ends up looking like this, okay? And I'm gonna proceed and continue. So make another point. They might end up being different sizes depending on how you go ahead and you fold your points. But you can go from there with them, obviously. It's important that you tape your, your corners and as you can see, that's what it's starting to look like. And you're gonna have all together eight points and you're going to have all the meat eventually. And if some points are tighter than the other, again, that's okay. Practice makes perfect with all of this. So if you don't make your first bow right, you might love your second bow that you make. So just keep practicing because with anything, it always takes practice. 